We hear about this type of contract called a GSA or a Government Services Administration contract. Right. What is this? Uh, Government Service Administration has a multiple award uh, service contract, an MAS, it's called a mass contract, that it covers, there's uh, approximately 200 different contracts you can go after within the GSA. And this is a contract that you can have awarded to you through GSA. It establishes your rate structure that you're going to use to go after work down the road. It's a five-year base contract with three five-year follow-on options. So it could be a total of a 20-year contract. And this GSA contract, it's one that once you get it awarded to you through the GSA, you can take it to other agencies. You can take it to commercial companies that are authorized to award through the GSA. Show them your contract and have work awarded to you or at least attempt to be awarded to you through that contract. They don't have to go through then and determine everything's fair and reasonable. GSA has already done that for them. So it makes the agency that you're dealing with have a lot simpler procurement process once you have a GSA contract established. With the GSA contract then, can you provide both services and products? Yes, you can. Under GSA contract, they have things, um, for example, the ones I'm familiar with are definitely the training and the engineering and the uh, the designing, whatever that may be, but they also have travel agencies, they have uh, cafeteria services, they have uh, copy machines, reproduction machines, IT world, It's they have uh, paving, they have about any industry that you you could think of. If you go to uh, the sba.gov website and then hit on GSA solicitations, you'll be able to see the entire list of what's available and it will help the companies uh, decide if they can go after a GSA contract, at least give them an idea. Okay.